Oh. Oh, that is so hot. So, today is day number 56. Holy fucking shit. Four days away from two months of sobriety. Now, they say that it takes between six to nine months for your brain chemistry to go back to normal, and that I can completely agree with. Not that I was ever actually normal to begin with. <laughs> Just saying. But, you know, I thought that somehow... The longer I was sober, the easier it would get. Well, lovelies, let me tell you something. That is not how it works. At all. Um, I'm breaking out like a teenage girl. I don't understand. And that is obviously my skin detoxing. Um, so... Yeah, so here's what happens for me. I'm not, this is, listen, you have to remember something. When I talk about stuff and I talk about, well, this is what happens, I am in no way saying that this is a broad generalization. What I am talking about is my own experience. So for me, this is what's happened. What happened was the first week I was fine, the second week I was fine, and it felt like now I've sort of hit a plateau. It's kind of like losing weight, like you hit this plateau and you don't seem to be progressing further unless you continue to work at it. And so, oh, that was a really good analogy. Hmm. Not just a pretty face or a coffee drinker. And so what's happened for me is that I've reached a plateau of I'm sober, I'm enjoying my sobriety, I seem very focused in my life, which I don't think I've ever felt focused like this before. I'm focused on change. I'm focused on better. I'm focused, 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 focusing, focusing, present participle or whatever it is. I don't even know. But I'm focusing on evolution. And by evolution, I mean my own evolution, my evolution as a person. And I've never really focused on this before. I've only ever been satisfied with just being and now I feel like I'm focusing on more than that I'm focusing on evolving as a person and I love that but the problem is is that for me again you know I went out last night for my friend's birthday happy birthday Bobo we took a picture wherever it shows up I never remember whether it's left or right so I just um, we took a picture, and uh, and I was there, and I bought her shots for her birthday. Now, first of all, going into a bar would have been a trigger, but like I said, I did this very publicly so that I would hold myself a lot more accountable than I normally would, and therefore I wasn't drinking. However, when I was buying her shots, and she seemed to be having such a great time, I remembered what it was like for me to party and have a good time. And... Um... And I wanted a drink really bad. I genuinely did. I was like, just have a shot. It's her birthday. Like, don't be such a party pooper. Isn't that sad, though, that that's the mentality that came into my head was don't be such a party pooper because I didn't want to have a drink? Um, I ran into my friend Daniel there as well. And when I told him that I was sober, the look on his face, he looked like he was going to fall off of his chair. And he was like, why? Not that Daniel sounds like that because I love him, but... Um, but yeah, he was like, why? And I'm like, just because I needed a change. I want it to be a better person. I listen, this is not to say that when you're drinking that you're not a good person because listen, a, a lot of people can drink and be social and everything. I mean, I have one friend who three drinks in is the biggest asshole on the planet and thinks that their jokes are really funny and they're just not. Um, but sober, this person is on the ball. It's kind of awesome. Um, but, but me, I was not my best self when I was drinking. And by saying that, I mean, I was really abusive. I was abusive to people that I loved. I was abusive to my animals. And I don't mean abusive as in like physically abusive. Like, I mean, abusive as in I just didn't really give a shit. Um, and so I wasn't being my best self. I wasn't being the best version of myself that I wanted to put forward. Um, and so drink, not drinking for me is is and was the smartest decision I've made in a very, very long time. And I have made some smart decisions. Okay, y'all? Hi. Like this coffee, for instance. 
Mmm. I love it. Um... Oh, so we're clear. I don't get anything from Starbucks, just so we're clear. I happen to like the Starbucks cups. This cup is like three years old that they did like two or three years ago. And I bought like four of them, and this is the only one that has survived. And so um, I use it a lot because I, I genuinely love this design on this cup. Um, so, yeah. So I want to talk about um, sobriety traps. It's a trap. Oh! Yeah, I want to talk about sobriety. Sobriety. That's kind of like a close cousin to sobriety. Just a bit further down the road. Yeah. Apparently I need more coffee because I'm half asleep apparently. And it's fucking 1.40 in the afternoon. Really? Really, Samantha? Wake up. It's so hot I can't drink it faster. Um, uh, why is it every time I come on camera there's something up with my nose? It's either running, it's itchy. No, it's not cocaine either. Oh god, that's so gross. I'm so sorry. You know what though? I'm gonna leave this in because, well... It's a human thing to do to wipe your nose. And I am actually human, contrary to popular belief. So, yeah, I want to talk about sobriety traps. And here's one sobriety trap that I notice a lot of people falling into. Their sobriety trap is that they think that they're somehow better than someone who is not sober. I remember having a conversation with a friend about a month or two ago. And this friend... Um, there was they they discussed pitying other people that drank and i was like but why your sobriety doesn't make you better than them you know, we all have our own journeys in life. And whether that journey leads you to drinking Aqua Velva from Rexall or Shoppers Drug Mart, or that journey leads you to um, pills and addiction or nicotine or alcohol or coffee, we all have our own journeys to live. And none of our journeys are better than anyone else's. None of them. Just because I'm sober now doesn't make me better than anyone else. And it doesn't take away all of the stuff I did while I was drunk. That's the sobriety trap right there. Because what that inadvertently does, I think personally, is that once you start thinking that you're better than someone else, if you happen to stumble, if you happen to fall, you are going to be exponentially harder on yourself because you will feel as though somehow you failed and now you're just like them guess what you're not like them you're like you you are your own special and unique sobriety journey you are just like you you are not better than anyone else you are not you know you are not accountable for other people. You are only accountable to yourself. Do not fall into a sobriety trap. Do not start thinking that you're better than someone else. Because in that, you will inadvertently fail. And when you fail and stumble, you are going to be that much harder on yourself. And I don't want to see that happen to you. Sobriety is a gift. Just like alcohol is a gift. They're just different gifts. Okay? Just like being a woman with a penis is a gift. It's a gift. It keeps on giving and giving and giving. Ha 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 ha! Dirty joke. Couldn't help it. So, December 7th is coming. Um, and I am heading to Montreal to... Um, check out two places that I really like, um, both completely different. I'm not going to talk about them yet because I don't want to jinx it. I've only told a couple of people about these places because I wanted to keep it, um, yeah, I want it, 
I, I don't want to jinx it. And I found that in my life, for some reason, the more I talk about something, the less likely it is to come true. And so I've kept certain things to myself because of that. Um, yeah. So, December 7th, I'll be in Toronto, which means that next Friday will be the 9th. So you will get an update then on my next sobriety journal. Um, as always, I love you. And remember this. I don't know if I'm going to drink tonight. I don't know if I'm going to drink tomorrow. But no matter what, whether I drink or I don't drink, I will not be upset with myself. I will not be mad at myself. I will cut myself some motherfucking slack. I am human. And in human, being human, I make mistakes. It's not to say that drinking is a mistake for you or for anyone else. But for me, I feel that drinking right now would... Ugh, to use, to, for lack of using a better term take my eye off the prize and the prize for me is evolving as a person and um i don't ever want to stop doing that and so my sobriety i feel is very much connected to my continuing to dream and continuing to push myself so yeah I thank you, as always, for allowing me into your home for as long as you do, or into your office, or onto your go bus ride home, or your train ride home. Uh, it means so much to me, because like I always say, the most valuable commodity that we have is our time, because it is the only thing that we cannot get back. And so it means so much to me that you watch my videos. Um, and that you share them. If you know someone who's struggling, look into resources in your area. If you have any questions with regards to finding resources in your area, message me and I will do my absolute best to put it out to all of my lovelies all over the world and find a place for you to go to. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me to do what I love and for allowing me to create a conversation about something that I think needs to be talked about. Um, as always, don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, colleagues. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I love you all so very much, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.